Hello everyone, I'm going to be there. And I'm going to start this video now. I'm uh, uh, mainly at our astrology channel ish, right? Because I'm learning astrology on your report. So I'm not learning it on person but the rule of international astrology, right? So basically what happened and what happened is I know basically like this and then I'm going to come to the right so it's hard to keep track sometimes it's not the traditional method of learning I know how much I know or here right but taking down on tips has a good um, sorted format so it is digestible and good for who want to learn strategy that is not, you know, like, I know what I know what I know, and I can conceptualize it all in the mind. But telling the people, it is hard, but if I jump in find something basic, I can find that. I mean, they do astrology is a subject like most people our age, our generation, they don't know about formal introduction, not the right kind of right? So, Anyone who can test it is welcome to tune in, right? Then, then you know, let's see astrology from my eye. So, basic. And I also talk it, talk it, you know, one by one. So, as I go on in this law, right, I start testing with something as simple as the sign, right? And then I go into what is my power. Duality, um, you know, all elements, right? Why love sun? Why not ten? Why not hundred? Right? I mean, what is basic strategy? Why strategy? What is strategy? Right? And not just strategy. I think I could talk about a lot of things, but I was not going to talk about it anyway, right? So is the, how I conceptualize all of that together, right? The one thing I learned, my journey up until now, is that it is a lot of fun. Like, you can, you can literally use it to understand anything from either mythological story, it is those which are, they are very much modded and Controversy, uh, and, uh, people not understanding the technology behind the genetic story. And uh, also, how the hell does astrology learn to express in modern science? It is a modern science, right? And astrology should work. Right? But the world is an explosion, it's banning, and Costing banding, you shouldn't be born in a certain sign, right? And you're going to lose it. For example, you look at tropical astrology, you know, this how much you can do once again. For those who are not formally into, uh, introduced to this, you know what I'm saying, so straight away, right? So, uh, basically, like, you know, the sun sign. Sometimes you can draw out based on the month of your book, right? So, the month, uh, it gets very dormant, so it really has for the month, right? So, uh, then being fixed, it does not have sense. Astrologically, it's like, it, what is this? What are those of you? Right? What is uh, oscillations? What are stars? What are planets? What I'm wondering is the history of astrology, how we started even thinking about, like, you know, some shiny star up in the sky, shiny up in the sky is affected. The history of that from any kind of uh, perspective possible, right? So if you're looking at you know, the history of mankind, as we know it, or uh, 
เทคโนโลยีเข้มเข้มไว้เทคโนโลยีที่พูดว่าอย่างแม่ยืนชิดแม่สตาร์ทสตอร์ชเลยตอนนี้ก็เป็นสตาร์ชตรงไปมันจะเป็นแต่ว่าเป็นวันเดียววันต่อเฟลเมทินสวยมากเพราะฉะนั้นเมทินเทสเทสดีสตาร์ชมันเป็นตัวไปไว้เลยก่อนตัวตัวสิ่งเข้ากับไว้ Uh, talking about all the same history of astrology, future support of astrology. Uh, then it is the current state right now, how people view it right now. You know, the pseudo sign, whatever, right? Okay. Yes. There's a lot of controversy around it, right? And it's not just as well, you know, any um, mystic sign. And the interesting and and the most on one side of speculation, religious, or what? But the other side, it could just be that you know the sound that you taste them and find it in matter. But in fact, that why need anyone who is who has had formal education, right? Uh, especially in the day and age, you know, more than more than the world would. So anyone who has had a formal education, right? Let us, the modern world, why would a person do that? And uh, be interested in science of the past, right? What the Google ways are. How old you do it? Conceptualize the world. Why do people do that? A lot of people are doing this now. It's only just me. A lot of people are learning strategy. I know this is strategy, but many do. So it's like if I'm out there in the world talking about astrology, and someone comes up to me and they're like. How does astrology even work? So I start saying and introducing them to the concepts of what astrology is, right? So to tell science, well, and they they are the constellations, right? They are what are constellations? Let's go all stars. What are stars? Let us start from the ground up, right? So these people have no formal introduction to them. I didn't, right? But now. I know enough to know how it can even possibly make sense. But why even bother to be up like the stars to figure out whatever's going down here, right? So I know that, right? But people don't. And so if I'm out there, I'm talking about it. I'll have to start from the beginning, like you got to get to come. This is that. This is that. And people ask me, wait a minute. I'm asking you how it works. Well, you need to know what it is, right? To know how it works. You ask me how does the engine work, right? You need to know what the engine is. What does the engine? What does the, what does the engine do? Then I can begin to start telling you what how it works, right? So those people who are interested in astrology want to know it. Those who already believe it. And those who don't believe it, but are skeptical, want to see what it's about, you are all welcome, right? To watch. So that is the secondary reason for why I'm starting this, right? For people who, you know, instead of raising doubt without the intention of getting the answers, right? Why don't you watch my vlog? Watch my video, right? right? Just if you're really interested, you would take time out of your life, out of the time that you do take out to really turn it around in front of you. Instead, if you're really interested, you're welcome, right? For those people, this, they are, even for those who want to learn, they take content, you are welcome. And those who already know, And maybe want to correct me. Maybe want to know what my insights, thoughts, and uh, experience has been regarding this. Can also tune in, right? 
So uh, maybe I ended up talking too much and I or land on. But yeah, I have to say it. So astrology is just one of the things that I'm learning. It's one of the most important ones, even though there are other things, right? Practical life matters, astrology that what people can do to the time. Right? So astrology why astrology? Why is it wrong? Why am I crazy about it? And I can answer those questions here. Right? So your welcome. This is just the introductory video to welcome people that didn't know what's about to come, what I'm going to do, and also for me, like a companion on my chest. Okay, this is even not like, um, I'm starting like initiating something mm -hmm. which I've been followed through on. I'll try to post every week. Twice every week, maybe if that's possible, because I'm very much about it. And look, I, I, I always think about these type of situations, right? I'm a drastic thinker. So, I, whatever I'm about, I always think about, it. I don't know what if people ask me, how, why, what, right? To be your own critic. I try to do that. But I ask these questions from people who might not understand it from their perspective, and I, whether I can come up with answers to that. That's how I can increase my knowledge. Because if I'm putting myself in the shoes of some person who's skeptical, and then I'm at raising a question, and then I'm back in myself, I'm trying to answer that question, and I don't have any answers. Now I know, now I realize the gap between my number. Right? And now I can feel those gaps. And go forward. Right? So, this is a like, very multi-purpose. Like, if you know me, or are getting to know me, you gotta know that anything that I do, or anything that I don't do, has more than one reason. Otherwise, I would not like, even think about it, or spend my energy. Energy, time, focus. I just won't give it. I won't give into anything. Unless, but has a reason that is not just one reason. It gotta be multifaceted, multi-purpose, um, complex. And usually, like I said, anything I do or don't do, I have many reasons, not just one. If you're asking why is it that posting something that's troublesome, related stuff, like only if you're posting an Instagram, or see your fans do, right? You just gotta not have a formal education. Um, like we all did, and does it do know that astrology is a civil science, it's the old traditional religious, outdated, crappy, um, civil science. Do you know that? Well, I do. I, uh, I cannot say I used to think that, that I always believed in astrology, even when I was young. I don't believe you, right? Like I, Know what I was told by my parents that was your astronomy, so whatever. And I was intrigued by those that things, but because I emotionally I like me. I don't know who I am. Trying to I'm still learning who I am, being twenty four years of age. Still learning. So uh astrology is just I had to come across it. One 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 day, someday, eventually, right? I came across that right, I looked into personality types, like who, like, what kind of personality can I, who am I? My astrology helped for a little bit, for a while. Then, uh, yeah, I had to steer, uh, recently, uh, during the long time, I had to steer into the astrology. Why? Because even though I was interested, and when I first started pursuing astrology, um, uh, in my second year, right? It was 20, 15, 19, right? So, when I started pursuing it, I just stimulated myself to keep focus, right? I, I wasn't consistent, right? So, you just don't be interested because, uh, you look at Western astrology, there is no good concept. Not only thing that I could delete, right? And there are no stories that we, like, if you look into methods of, learning and teaching, 
Okay. You look at the person, the human person, the sense, right? We have the audiovisual sense, most heightened, right? Eyes and ears, right? So if we learn in that uh, medium, right, it is faster to grasp things. Okay, the lower vibration, the senses that we have that are stimulated and we learn something new, the lesser chances of that sticking with us. Okay. So, for example, if you are watching a movie, let's say Harry Potter, right, for the first time, you have everything given for you, right? You see the face of Harry Potter, you see the face of Hermione, you see the face of whatever monster okay, in the movie, right? And it's beautiful to watch. But you have everything given. Like, there is no imagination stimulated in your mind, right? So when you watch Harry Potter for the first time and, and you watch the movie, then, then you are like, wait a minute, there are books. So I'll start reading books, right? Because the new movie hasn't come in a while or whatever. And I'll start reading because the books are. So you start reading the book and when you read it, you start imagining, picturing whatever's happening inside the book, right? And you start picturing Harry Potter as Daniel Radcliffe, right? Because the image is already provided to you through motion pictures. Now, if you had never came across Harry Potter in movies, motion pictures, right? And you would have first started reading it in book format, right? You would, your image, imagination would be stimulated. You would think how does Harry look like, right? How does Hogwarts look like? Not just look like everything else. How does it sound based on the uh, description given by the author? Or, uh, you know, and other than that, mostly your imagination, your stimulate imagination. This is why people say books are superior to movies. Okay? So there is that yin and yang there. Right? So even if the image and the audio is provided in the movie, right? This is not stimulated the mind. Right? So you don't, you're not really gone. Okay? But when you read a book, this starts moving. And that, that is good. It keeps it functioning. That's why people who read books are seen as smart. And they are. It's, it just works for them. Those who just watch movies, you know. But what happens there too is, if everything is provided, there's no stimulation, right? But, like I said before, more the senses, more the more the senses. I mean, yeah, more the uh, multiple senses, right, are stimulated at the same time. Meaning, not just eyes, also audio. Uh, it is easier to understand, right? So when you're watching the movie, it is faster to, you know, instead of just reading, you know. Had it been at Ron, right? You can just see had it been at Ron in the movie. You don't have to read that. You don't have to stimulate it. You don't have to have your a voice in your mind and read what it is. And then focus while you're reading, not just read it blindly, right? Could people do that? That is different. Similarly, sorry, I went completely different. I do that. I do the I digress, right? But I'm not. Talking about something that's unrelated. Why? Because similarly, just like this happens, when some kind of image is provided to you, stimulation is affected. You know, mental growth, brain function, affected. Right? But with all that, still more senses that are stimulated at different mediums of transition of any knowledge, data, right? You uh, uh, if the human body and the mind learns faster, right? So, when you watch the movie, you learn the plot, the story, everything fast. Okay, so that's what's happening when you watch a movie. So, it's all about scientific and learning TV. Okay? Well, I ended up talking about this. Oh my God, what was I talking about? 
og aldrig sige, at Ed vil komme back to me. Jamen, jeg ikke har noget. Jeg ikke, du har gået med mig. Jeg er også der i dag. Jeg har det der i går. Understanding that, understanding our minds, right? So this is just, uh, uh, the reason I gave this example was because I wanted to talk about how we learn different speeds of learning when data is passed, right? Okay, now I need one. Okay, so when data is passed, when, like, for one person to know that, so, so if I'm teaching you something, right? If I'm teaching you in ways that I'm stimulating, not just your eyes, but ears, Even your mouth, if we are communicating, if you have doubts, you talk to me. You ask me, what is it? Then I'll tell you. Right? The more senses are involved, the more you will learn. The faster you will learn. This is just about science of learning process. Okay? So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So when uh, you look at, like, I was talking about astrology, right? So when I came across Western astrology, I was not stimulated by them. Why? Because, okay, so there are these stars, there are transfers, there are conjunctions, right? There is the bird chart, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't see, like, I was still skeptical, right? There's, this does not hit home. This does not hit a home run in my dome, in my head, right? This is not making sense. Like astronomically, astrologically, it's making sense, but what's the effort? Where's the end? What are we talking about? There is a scientific connection. And I did not, there is that, but just for me, Western astrology did not provide that, me being an Indian guy, right? So then I steered on to Vedic astrology, and me being an Indian guy, going up, Knowing mythological, Indian mythological story, it just helped. Because I was looking for the deeper connection, I did not find in Western astrology. Like, wow, well, okay. Because planet, planet and signs are not enough. Right? And needing a Scorpio, I needed to go deeper. Deep stimulation wasn't provided. Like Western astrology. Right? But in Vedic astrology, there is not just Signs of planet, there are nakshatra. There are nakshatra deity. And those deity are the devas in Indian mythology. And you can connect them with their story that you hear in Indian mythology. So, and the whole point of, like, if you know anything about storytelling, why stories are even told, like I said before, writing a book, stories, transferring data, right? This is one story that Okay, so when we were kids, we grew up reading lots of stories, right? Remember the story with the frog falling down and boiling milk or something like that? And what was the moral of the story? God only had those who had themselves. That was the moral. So, what was the point of the story? The point of the story was the moral. To teach you something. Okay? Stories are made to teach, mostly. That's the main purpose of story. Okay, so all these Indian mythological stories are not, so you can, you know, hate on Ravan, hate on, you know, Indra. No. You are supposed to understand the symbology behind, behind it. Connect that to shelters, connect that to plants, connect that to then on astrology. Right? Now astrology is not the scope of the story. But you can do that. And when I learned that, I'm like, okay, medical astrology is It's all with me. It makes a lot more sense to me. Right? So I started going into that. So, yeah, so this, that's been, uh, that's how my path in astrology has changed. That's been my journey. Now what I've learned about it, I will talk about in the upcoming video. This was the longer version of the introductory video from my vlog. So, like I've always said, anyone, skeptical, wants to learn more, just wants to be introduced, whatever, you are all welcome. And thank you for tuning in. Keep tuning in just like you did today. 
for you know upcoming videos right so if, if you're not following me you know, not so if you just catch up on one video you'll not know what i was talking about if you haven't in the earlier ones right so keep tuning in so you can that is if you are interested no pressure of course right and so yeah the video got cut i was saying i was about to end it and i'm saying keep showing love keep tuning in right like subscribe whatever doesn't matter we are here to learn the purpose is not to go my channel and get money not at least you know as of now right it's all about learning and get into teach people know people and help people out feel their doubts this moment is beautiful right so thank you all see you next time